Hold on. Let me think of what I want to do here. You don't like absolve like the the responsibility of of how detrimental Smurfs are uh, because um, because the system is also flawed. It's like it's like equal. Yo, what's up, Snoop Dogg? How we doing? Yeah, I disagree, Inglorious. I think having multiple accounts in the top 50 is pointless and bad for the game. Gatekeeping GM just because you have more time to play than other players, like if you're a pro and have like seven accounts in GM, that's not good for Smite. All you're doing is gatekeeping people that don't have time to play as much as you and, and, and whatnot. Is he at five here? If he at five is if he hits five, yeah. You can have a small bit of tower damage if you want. Incredibly powerful. Your middle tower is under attack. Well, I mean, like, I could... Like, think about how much duel I play for a living. Think about this. Think about how much duel I play for a living. I could easily get 10 accounts, right? I had more games played than, than anybody. The throne is my destiny. I had more games played than anybody Crazy. last season, right? Huh. <gasps> I'm better! <sighs> my man's fucking knocked me up out of my fucking shit. Uh, like, I could have had... I could, I could gatekeep 10 plus accounts if I wanted to. That's not... That's not badass to me. I just, I do this for a living, so I have the time. I shouldn't gatekeep. I shouldn't be able to gatekeep a GM spot. I shouldn't be able to gatekeep a GM spot or nine GM spots and make it so the top uh, only, only 38 can make it in just because I do this for a living. That's not healthy for the game. I also there there are some instances where Smurfs have valid valid reasoning, right? Playing with your friends, blah 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 blah. That is an important piece. I agree. new player friends yeah like like I said there, there are some there is some reasoning when when Smurfs aren't bad I just think Smurfs in ranked Smurfs in ranked gen generally don't have a net positive impact ready 
Ready. Yeah, but then wouldn't you just go into casuals and just, like, learn to jungle? Wouldn't you just go into casuals then and then and then learn to jungle that way? And then go into to ranked with, with, with jungle? Like, if you're trying to learn? I don't think somebody should go into ranked on a smurf to learn jungle. Ready. I also have to agree, like, when, even when a friend played on a new account with us, I have to tr genuinely try not to drop, like, 30, like, like, we've had friends that, like, have had smurfs for the reason of, alright, we're gonna play with our friends, and they're only, like, you know, like, a year new into the game, we don't want them playing against, uh... We don't want them playing against GMs or who we're going to play against. So we'll have one person on a smurf plus Chris and then plus like the the generally like lower level players. And I have to genuinely try not to drop like 40 kills. I'm not joking. It's just like it's that like, okay, this person's just going to give me a free kill, I guess. It's it's like it's that bad. And ruining the new player experience is extremely detrimental to the game. Considering how many people try Smite and how many people actually stick around longer than a month. There's very few reasons that smurfs should exist. They definitely shouldn't exist in ranked. And I would argue even the benefits that we're arguing for smurfs on how they can be sometimes advantageous for like the players you're playing with sometimes create such a... Not Raising. I don't know if I this might I just had him run assault. So like like let me let me give you the example Raising. like this, right? You're going to give your friend a no, better time by being able to play with him because Smite is much better uh, to play with friends than without friends. However, you are also making the time for the people you're playing against much less fun. This is incredible. So it's still a net negative trade-off. You're possibly making an entire team suffer from having to play in your game because you're so much better than them to make one friend experience better. It's just it's just why I think Smurfs there's just not a good solution. Like you're playing with a friend of just an entirely different skill level. At least if you do it in casual, it's not that big of a deal. But if you go into ranked, like it's I don't know, it's just it's rough. <clears throat> But a brand new player, mobile player will get demoralized playing against people with experience. Exactly. But that's what smurfing creates, too. 
except you're creating it for five people rather than making one rather than making one person deal with it right your friend you're inherently making an entire team deal with you who has experience Bot games into casuals? I think uh, League of Legends does it really well. I'm glad that hi res is taking, like, clearly some of the things that clearly work for League of Legends and other MOBAs and incorporating it into their game. You take a game that already looks better, right? You, already, you take a game that already looks better, that's fully optimized on the console, and then you take some things that work better in other MOBAs that maybe haven't worked for your game, and you just copy-paste. It's, it's smart. I think people should... When new players enter the game, first of all, there needs to be an actual tutorial. A playable tutorial. Not something you watch, but something you have to play in bot games. And you should have to do five bot games in every role, and there should literally be fucking arrows where you go. It should be like, all right, this game, you're learning jungle. A jungle character does this. The purpose of a jungle character should be this. Here's where you go at the beginning. The beginnings change, right? You know, but here's generally what you're going to do. You're going to go get your buffs. You're going to go help fight in these lanes. And you're going to secure this jungle farm. It's going to show you where to go. And you're going to have to play through five bot games. A support, a, 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 set, or a hut, jungle, mid, carry, solo lane. You're going to have to play through five full bot games. Full. Full bot games. You could play with a friend or in co-op. But it's going to tell you exactly what to do. Where to go where to be, and then you should go in. People should not be indoctrinated into Smite through Arena. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me that we're like, hey, come learn the game. Here's Arena. Raising. <laughs> Luckily, the friends that I had were like, we're going to start playing Smite. We played like the five, ten arena games we had to. And I was like, I really don't like this. And they're like, well, like, come play the Conquest game mode. And we went right into Conquest and I just never left. The only reason I started doing duels is because I just liked ranked modes. And I liked, I was always the, like, when somebody was like, after like a Call of Duty game, was like, yo, 1v1 right I was always the kid who was like, sure, but what's your opinion on Smurfs? Uh, there are incredibly limited situations where smurfs can be have a net positive result on an individual game playing with your friends for instance you want to play with your friends but you don't want to bring them into G high gm lobbies that's a net positive depending on your viewpoint because you are also making the kids playing against you play against somebody that's way above their skill caliber as well so they're still there's still a trade-off, but overall, I think Smurfs are bad for pretty much any game. Why would you force your friends into Smite? I love Smite, brother. I think Smite's one of the best games to play with friends. I hate how much I love you. Oh, I didn't even realize this was you, brother. Yeah, sorry. 
I got an audio request. I can't chill. I make one mistake. I lose this game. I wait. I make one mis. Oop. I make one mistake, and this game's over for me. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Brought of ass claps. Your Left it at your mom's house. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Angry. I'm gonna save up for a PS5 strictly for Final Fantasy 16. GG, sorry about that, brother. <clears throat> I kind of have to pee. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 